Hey, welcome back to another utterly awesome vlog. It has been a while, but it has come to my attention that some people have some questions about how to use their infrared camera and to stream to their phone. So we're going to cover that today. Okay, here's a little setup I have. I am going to record live of what's happening on my camera with my GoPro. And this function is for using and being able to cast to an Android phone from a FLIR camera. And it doesn't matter whether it's a camera like this T540 or if you're using one of the E series cameras or if you are using the c3 camera the kind that will broadcast to FLIR tools if you hear any noise in the background it is my wife standing next to our tree wrapping christmas presents okay so as you see here on the video screen we have the camera and i'm going to show you where you go into to set up in order to be able to do this. So you go into your settings, and most of the time there is a connections option. When you choose the connections option, it can be either off or share or connect to a network. If you are doing share, that is for connecting to Apple devices, Apple iPhones, Apple iPads, but if you're connecting to Android, you have to connect through a network. So the way you do is you go down here and you choose connect to network, and then you go to available networks, and then what it will do is it'll bring up a list of all the available networks. And as you can see, I've connected to two different networks with this. Now the challenge has been, this smart router network is an internal network inside my wireless, my Wi-Fi router. And you see it shows up a couple of other ones that come in as it picks them up. But when I connect to this one, I have a different IP home address than my phone. So my phone never sees it. So if I go to this, this is my direct network out to my internet. Um, and it doesn't matter whether it's like that or a direct, you know, if you just have a Wi-Fi router that you connect to and use this, but you go to this and when you go to try to connect, it will tell you your, um, ask for the password. Since I've already put that in, it shows me what my IP address is and what the subnet mask that it's on. So then we'll go in and show you what I get on my Android device. So here we have my Android device and I am connected on the same network as my camera. I go and open my FLIR tools app and when it comes in, it initially will go to the library. So then if you tap up here in the upper left side, you get the option to look for instruments. And it will go out and scan for it, and it immediately found that I have this T540 camera. So then I go and connect to it, and then as I connect to it, <laughs> the only challenge is it's not bringing in my image that's on the camera. So if I bring it back up to the camera, Sorry for the noise there, but you can see there's the image that it's giving and I'm getting the temperature graph of that hotspot that I had. And so if I move that hotspot, you see my temperature goes down and you see I move that hotspot. Now, Jamie, would you move over in front of that? What? Now see where she's in front of that. It caused the temperature spot to, to move up a little bit. And you can see that as well in the image. All right, I moved it. You can see it as well 
in the image there as the temp changes my temp on my graph changes but for some reason i'm not getting my image to come in and i've tried make playing around with the settings so if you go into the settings there's an option here for a large video stream or a small video stream i'll try going back and see if it for some reason will let the large but it won't and that could be for a couple of reasons being this is a high resolution camera and it may not be able to stream that on this network for some reason Uh, let's connect but you can see it easily finds it and connects to it and then it gives me my graph and if I go in and I do things like change my temperature color palettes there I change it to rainbow and you can see it changes it in the camera so it actually is connected and working on the camera for some reason it's just not bringing my image to my phone so that's how you make the connect work. They've got to be a connection to a network because you cannot do the share and connect directly to the camera. So hopefully that helps you in knowing how to connect your Android phone to an infrared camera. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below and come back next week as we show you a little bit about connecting with the FLIR C5, the new FLIR C5 to the Ignite software and how that works.